Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness may be proof of Captain Marvel's success? Yeah, think about it. Let's discuss it. The sequel to Doctor Strange will be presented in May 2022, six years later after the first part. Why did that happen? In contrast, we have the sequel to Captain Marvel, whose first part was released in March 2019, and whose sequel, The Marvels, will arrive in February 2023, barely in time for pre-production, production and promotion. In fact, the main sequence of The Marvel has already finished filming, and Doctor Strange is still in reshoots. An answer can come from the box office numbers. Doctor Strange was not a flop, that's good. But it has the numbers similar to those of Phase 1 of the MCUs. Ooh, that's bad. $678 million. It is located in the lower third of the MCU collection prior to the pandemic. That's bad. A corner where you can find the Ant Man and the Thor franchises, Iron Man 2, and Captain America, the first Avenger. Can I go now? For me, it's an example of the type of measures that Marvel takes when a character is not behaving as expected. Step 1. Delay your sequel to make changes. That is why it took Strange 6 years to come back with a sequel. Step 2. Align the character with a more popular character. Example, I think Marvel covered their doubts about the Spider-Man reboot by putting him as protege no more than with the founder of the MCU, Iron Man. Parker returned the favor by serving as a platform for Doctor Strange 2. None of this has happened with Captain Marvel's franchise. As we said before, its sequel barely had time for production before it was released. Carol is not allied of charismatic characters to help her because she does not need such help. And on the contrary, she's been used as a springboard to launch Ms. Marvel and Spectrum at least. Haters have wanted to take the name change, the Marvels, as a sign of distrust in the Captain by removing her name from the title. While I don't love uh, the change for a number of reasons, haters again get it wrong. Yep, here's your problem. Someone set this thing to evil. Captain Marvel is the only character alongside Blank Black Panther to have made a billion at the box office in her MCU debut. She is in the top 10 grossing for that franchise and it's 23rd of all time. Again, the fact that its second part was released almost immediately without allying her to a tutor shows the confidence that Marvel has in the cap. The movie is not considering introducing bombastic characters like three Spider-Man, or the X-Men, or the Fantastic Four. It doesn't mix you up with the multiverse, it's a movie that stands on its own. Again, all signs of Marvel's confidence in the franchise. And yet, for the tabloid channels, it is the Marvels and not Doctor Strange 2 that has Disney worried. Can you see the manipulation, folks? Everyone is stupid except me. It is likely, on the other hand, that the Marvels is not properly Captain Marvel 2, but only a sequel of the first part without being properly the second part of Captain Marvel. Feige already named it once as Captain Marvel 2, but in somewhat informal settings, Marvel undoubtedly has big plans for Carol Danvers, and if we don't love that the Marvels doesn't bear the Captain Marvel name, although, although the logo does, we must be patient and wait for Feige's great plan for the Cap to take shape, so that this and other enigmas are explained to us. What we can say without fear of being wrong is that the haters are wrong in their read. Not only Disney and Marvel have not lost confidence in Captain Marvel, but they are building a whole world around her. Since Monica and Kamala are characters that will evolve and grow on their own, regardless of their affiliation to Carol Danvers. My work is done here. What do you mean your work is done? You didn't do anything. <laughs> Didn't I? So what do you think about all this? I really would like to know your thoughts in the comments. Please let me know. This was Joe Cool for Brie Larson Worldwide and keep loving Brie.